look at this giant box. Oh, that is my workout for the remainder of the year. Hello Disney Dreamers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Linise. this is LZ Enchanted. It is currently about 8 o'clock at night and I'm alone so I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and film for you guys. I haven't sat down and filmed in a really long time. It feels amazing. I miss sitting down and talking to you guys. Today is October 1st, so I think that is universally recognized as the start of spooky season, fall season, whatever you want to call it. I know Disney World and a lot of other people start celebrating like in August or whatever, which is ter which is totally fine. Um, I don't really like to start until, you know, September, October, so... Um, the reason why I'm even saying all that is because I bought an Oogie Boogie plush in Disney World when I was there a couple of weeks ago, and it is somewhere in this monstrosity of a box. I went to World of Disney and picked it up, so I figured it's a perfect opportunity to go ahead and show you all of my other souvenirs that I got at World of Disney. This box is just a portion like a small part of all of the souvenirs I got um, during my Walt Disney World trip. I still have another big box. I still have a couple of other bags and stuff to show you. So I just want to show you this large World of Disney haul that I did. I have a lot of other like little project videos coming out. I have a trip report coming out, reviews, just a lot so if you're not subscribed yet i suggest doing so by clicking that big red button and you know just staying tuned because there's just so many more videos coming out i am not done by any stretch of the imagination i'm having the best time so uh let's go ahead and get into this huge monstrosity of a haul anyway, this box has been sitting in my kitchen for the better part of like four weeks now literally since I came back from Disney <laughs> um, and I haven't opened it at all. I've been dying to get into it. I have a bippity boppity box that is sitting on my kitchen counter that I haven't opened and uh, that's my September one so I gotta get that out. There's just so many things that I am behind on. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. I do not remember every single thing that I bought in this haul. I think I went into like a blind shopping rage. <laughs> when I went into World of Disney, which I think it's common, you know, um, you kind of see everything and you just add it to your cart and I was just kind of grabbing things and then I kind of like closed my eyes and handed the cashier my uh, card and it was very bad. It definitely ruined my mood for the rest of the day because I was broke. But I'm very excited because now my account is back in the positive and I have all these Disney items from my home and let's just get into it. Ah! Because of the sheer size of the box, I cannot have this box on screen and show you what, um, what I got. So I'm just going to start pulling things. Hopefully I don't take too much of your time. I just want to get to my Oogie Boogie plush and then pull out whatever else is in here. First thing that I'm pulling out is this spirit jersey that I got. I got a black spirit jersey, plain black with the white lettering, Walt Disney World. Um, I thought that this was perfect because I could wear this literally everywhere. I could wear this at my work if I wanted to on a lazy day. I could wear this at Disney, obviously. Um, I There are so many different jersey designs. I wanted like the rose gold one, there was a gray one, a yellow one, there were so many. But I think that I can kind of wear this all year round and it's still kind of like basic and plain but obviously it has that Disney touch on it so uh, I like it because it just goes with everything. So um, the next thing that I'm going to pull out, oh my goodness, is wrapped like so. I am pretty sure... I think I know what it is, but I don't want to say it before I open it. It is. All right, you guys. I have got Cogsworth. Cogsworth has been on my Disney bucket list like of souvenir items since March of 2017 when I went to World of Disney and saw him and Lumiere together. And I was like, I need that. And I never was able to get it or afford it or pick it up, but you know he was coming home with me when I went shopping. 
I'm really glad I was able to snag him up. Um, he's not ticking now. I think I might have to put a battery in him. If not, it's fine. I'm just glad I get to display him somewhere. I don't know where he's going to go. I'll probably re rearrange this somehow. Oh, yay! My Oogie Boogie plush! So I didn't have to look too far into the box. But there he is. He's so cute with his warm tongue. I wouldn't say he's cute, but that's the word that we all seem to be using whenever we show you guys Disney stuff. He was $19.99, a little pricey for a Disney plush, especially one of this size. I picked him up specifically because fall season was around the corner, Halloween and everything. Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my absolute favorite Disney movies. I've watched that ever since I was a kid, multiple, multiple times. I haven't even started watching it yet this year, but it will be on constant repeat from now until January, maybe even after. Um, but I really love Oogie Boogie. He's one of my favorite villains. So I figured, you know what? A little pricey, but totally worth it. I don't know where I'm going to display it. Maybe in the front of my house, but I'm glad I got him. Oh, <gasps> I forgot! Oh my gosh, you guys. I am in love with Pluto. I, I remember watching a couple of vlogs, um, if not today, maybe like a couple days ago, and I saw Pluto plushes and I was like, I want a Pluto plush. Like, I really, really want one already. I forgot I already got one for myself. He is the cutest thing. I love Pluto. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite Disney characters and one of my favorite Fab Five. I love him. And, um... This was $19.99 as well, so I I honestly feel a lot better spending $20 on Pluto than I did on Oogie Boogie, but I, oh, oh, stop it. Ooh, next thing I'm pulling up, it's a little bent, but it is this Cinderella Castle Magnet. I absolutely fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. I thought this was the perfect little souvenir to go right on the fridge and to just remind me that... This is literally like one of the things that I can stare at for hours and not get tired of it. It is the most magical place on earth. It sees that there. Um, now this is labeled red. I'm not sure how much it is. I think it's $9.99 though. Um, so a little pricey for a magnet, but it does have this like kind of, you know, 3D element to it. And um, I've never seen a magnet quite like this. So it does kind of bend a little easily just because of the material it's made of. I'm not sure, but it's a very flexible material. Um, so I'm going to put this on my fridge right now, and we can always use more magnets. All right, another thing I'm pulling out here. Now, don't worry, there's a lot of other big stuff in there. I'm just pulling out whatever I find. Um, I have this slap bracelet. No, I don't need a slap bracelet, but I, I think I just fell in love with the fact that they use these um, Disney emoji characters. There's a Disney game app that features these like characters, um, ob obviously the Disney princesses, but the way they look, and it's called like Disney Emoji Blitz or something like that. Um, it's one of those like really addicting games, kind of like, um, I don't know, like Candy Crush kind of vibe. And uh, yeah, they have these characters, and I really love playing it. So I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's that's very cool. They kind of, they kind of featured that Disney game app. Um, so just go like that, and you got a little bit of Disney on your arm. So I think this was like $6.99, $7.99, but I think that was definitely under $10. We're coming into some styrofoam and boxes right now. I'm pretty sure I got maybe a couple of mugs here. <sighs> Let's see, I am ready. I am so ready to dig into this stuff. All right, Lenise, I have great taste. So I got this Walt Disney World mug. It's light blue uh, on the inside and on the handle, and it just features all four Disney World parks, which I just think it's a perfect souvenir. This was, I don't know how much. I'll try to find the price again, um, but maybe 20 bucks a little under I just think it definitely uh fits the purpose of the trip was to see all four parks for the very first time in my life and to have a showcase on just one singular thing is really important to me um and really just makes sense so it has I'll try to go from here Hollywood Tower of Terror you can see it's a you can see Small World down there Cinderella's Castle can see Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth is one of my absolute favorite Magic Kingdom attractions, so I'm so glad that they not only 
put Cinderella Castle on there, but uh, Spaceship Earth as well, and Small World for that matter. Um, Soren, I'm sure, is that right there because of the hang glider. Um, the Soren is like a hang glider rise, so they have that Soren over the Spaceship Earth icon. Um, I don't know what that is down there. Guys, if you know what this is down here, please let me know. I'm not like a crazy Disney World park map addict. I don't have every single square space, you know, memorized. Um, I want to say, I have no idea what that is. It looks like Hollywood Brown Derby to me, but it wouldn't make sense because it's with all this other Animal Kingdom stuff. The only other place I can think of is Yak and Yeti, which is not because I know Yak and Yeti is, like, blue. Um, it's not Safari. I honestly have no idea what this is. If you know, please let me know. I'd love to um, figure out what that is. But Everest is on here. My ride bay. I love Everest. It's my... I think my ultimate favorite Walt Disney World attraction. It's absolutely fun. Got the Tree of Life there, and they actually have the safari right there, so I'm really not sure what that is. Um, and then right by Hollywood Tower of Terror, you have... You know, it looks like it could be Rock and Roller Coaster. Um, doesn't really look much like a limousine, but... I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Rock and Roller Coaster. Doesn't really look like the car you get, you drive when you go on the speedway. So, um, yeah, I, I'm in love with this mug. I know that took like 15 years to explain something that you can probably just look at, but love this. Um, I'm not going to be a huge mug collector. There are hundreds of mugs that I want, but I'm not going to drink out of all of them. I would rather display them. It's a very pricey hobby or pricey collection to do. Um, and, I mean, I just don't have the space or money for it. So, I'm going to try to get only the mugs that I really, 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 really want and fall in love with. And this was one of them. As if I haven't commemorated the trip enough, I also got a Baymax mug. And I love Baymax. He's one of my favorite uh, Disney Pixar characters because he's just so friendly and cute and funny and just big and fluffy and he gives you the best hugs. I met Baymax at Epcot on our second day in Disney and he gives the best hugs. Like you absolutely just get lost in him. He's just, he's the best. Um, so I really had to, I had to pick this up. I like the shape of it. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot deeper and just a lot more round than something like this. I don't know I like this this I feel like is gonna be my um like my fall and winter mug for all the hot chocolate that I'm gonna drink and it's so cute because on the inside because he's like a healthcare provider you know because he's like your personal marshmallow healthcare nurse whatever um they have like this chart on the inside of the mug and when it's full obviously you're at your worst because the caffeine or whatever you're drinking hasn't hit your system, but when it's all gone, you're nice and happy and full of liquid happiness. So, um, I absolutely love this mug. Definitely commemorates meeting Baymax, and it's cute and adorable. So I only have one last big thing in this box, and if you're paying attention, I mentioned it already, so you should know what I'm about to show you. But in case you zoned out, I'll just keep it a surprise. So this is the worst because it's wrapped in styrofoam and I, <sighs> I legitimately hate the sound and feel of styrofoam. It really, really irks me. Um, I don't know if it's a sensory thing with me. I just, I, I hate touching it. I hate Listening to it when I have to open it, Ugh, it's the worst. All right, the very last thing in the box. E our guest, be our guest, puts our service to the test. Course by course, one by one, till you shout, enough, I'm done. I got Lumiere, of course I had to get Lumiere if I was getting Cogsworth and vice versa. Oh my gosh, he is one of my favorite Disney characters. I know I say that about every Disney character, but I mean, there are a lot of great Disney characters out there. It's hard to just choose one, but um, I definitely had him serenade me to sleep ever since I was a kid, 
and I love the Be Our Guest song, and I just love Codsworth and Lumiere as a duo. I'm so excited for all the things that I'm going to use for my Disney display. It's going to be absolutely adorable. Um, but yeah, that is everything in my Walt Disney World haul. Guess what, guys? I realized there's an entirely big other thing in my box. I don't know how I missed it. I thought it was just an empty styrofoam block, but apparently there's something sealed and tucked away in there. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this bonus clip of something else I got at Walt Disney World. Honestly, have no idea what this is. Obviously, it's fragile, but I just, I really thought I was done <laughs> spending money at Walt well, at World of Disney because I didn't film myself shopping because I, I was just going way too fast for me to like carry a camera. I'm not looking at it yet so I have no idea what's in here. What is this? I'm feeling the shape and I'm just like, it feels like a Halloween hat. But, oh, <laughs> how could I forget? You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend, you ain't never had a friend, never had a friend, you ain't never uh, had a uh, friend like me. I got the Magic Genie lamp, um, couldn't resist it. Aladdin is slowly becoming a movie that I can definitely watch over and over. I just, I never grew up with the film. So I think my first time I saw it, like, I mean, I was a kid. It wasn't in a really good environment when I was watching it. There was a lot of stuff going on. I didn't really pay attention. And then I saw it again as an adult and I was like, yeah, you know. But I have started to watch it more frequently, especially with the live action one that came out this year. I'm starting to love the music more and the characters. But the lamp has always been like a symbol that I really, really enjoyed. I've always loved the lamp. So although the movie might not be my favorite, the genie lamp is one of my favorite like Disney icons. Um, so this bad boy sent me back $39.99, but I really do enjoy it. Um, I think it's going to go well somewhere there. And it's just like the pinnacle of Disney magic, like in your hand, even though a big blue genie doesn't come out. I can still hope. <laughs> and I mean, he, he lives in there, safe and sound. I want to, I want to wish you out, but I can't. So we went from jerseys to mugs to display items to plushies. We got a lot of things. So thank you guys so much for watching me show you just how much money I spent. It was awful. But I'm really glad with the items that I got. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one is. What's your favorite souvenir shop in Walt Disney World? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!